Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to VWO's Ask Me Anything session. This is your host, Abhishek, and this is the place where you can come and talk and discuss and raise queries about what all you can do with the VWO platform and how you can serve your visitors the best in the best way and derive the best ROIs. And you can converse with our experts over here and get your answers uh, about uh, various things on experimentation, research on subscribers, how to best interact with them, and how to give them uh, the smoothest experience possible. Today, we are joined by uh, two of our colleagues, uh, Meha Agarwal, who's an optimization consultant at VWO, and Satyajit, uh, a product manager at VWO. Uh, these two will be solving all, all your queries and questions about how to best use the VWO platform. Mega, handing over, handing over to you for the first query. Here we go. Thank you, Abhishek, for the warm welcome. Hello, everyone. Starting with the first question we got today, uh, what kind of split test affects the most of opt-in and sales conversion? Okay. Split unit testing plays an important role when you want to test two different URLs and you want to test two different or more than two variables on that page, right? Suppose if you want to change your heading and you want to change your complete layout of your first section, you also want to change the color and the look and feel of the complete page. That's where the split URL comes into the picture, right? In here, what happens is, the website, like the website traffic which you're getting on your control has been randomly split between the control and the variation and the conversions are tracked to decide which variations performs the best, right? And it would be really great to create split URL testing if you wish to make some major UI UX changes or let's say uh, you are making some big changes in the back end of your website, right? And you want to test like how your new website would perform and instead of directly making, in the, uh, making them live, we can suggest like you can go it through the split URL testing, performing the existing website test and the new ones to get the complete 360 degree angle of your new website changes which you have made, right? Coming to the question which we have in here, like how to boost the conversion based on and using different split testing uh, ideas on the website, right? So we can use split URL testing on the different pages of your website, right? Be it a checkout page, be it a first one, first one of your page that is a home page, or if you wish to change your, uh, if you are in the SaaS business, then you can perform your split URL testing in the pricing page as well. Right. Let me take and talk about a few examples, like what type of tests you can conduct and expect the good um, ROI out of it. Right. Let me first take an example of the pricing page. And this is basically very useful for the users who has the SaaS business or if they have some packages they, which they want to sell on. And in that case is we can create two different URLs for the pricing page and compare like which performs the best. Right. Now, how to start with that, right? Suppose you have the current pricing page in which you feel that you are just showing the packages to the user. Let's say like you are showing three columns in which you have like, this is the uh, starting package or this is the intermediate and then you have the popular one. And then you're just showing the best selling prices to them or the discounted pricing and that's all. Right. And that might be the experience that most of the people are bouncing back and you want to test like what all things you can make the user motivated to go forward and buy that product. Right. Now, let's say your team has decided that they want to show four packages and they want to change the pricing of those packages as well. And suppose they also want to change a look and feel in terms of UI UX, you want to change the CTA copy, you want to add that tag which says like, let's say most popular or best sellers, right? In addition to that, you also want to do that, uh, you want to add a social proof on your page. Might be it is a form of the review slider, or you can say like it is a form, like how many people have subscribed in the last week, or let's say if your traffic is high, you can also say like how many people have subscribed from yesterday, right? So that if I combine all these changes, the first one be like adding one more pricing block, changing the pricing, changing the CTA, changing the UI UX, adding the social proofs. I guess that is something which we cannot test in just an A-B test and know that which one works best for us or if the results went positive as well, how to compare and know that which element works for us, right? And 
in a b test if you want to split all these things in a different part it might take you like four to five campaigns and then you have to realize that which best combination works out for it right in this case what you can do is you can create a complete url on that page complete different one which has all the new features in place right and you can set it up as a split url testing and test it with the current uh, pricing page which you have and create multiple goals around it to know that which metrics actually worked well for you and which metrics in which you are seeing a dip in right so if you if you want to make a bigger changes on your website let's say as as well just talked about then the split url testing performs the best for you right so that is just for one example i could say and that could really help you in boosting your conversion if if there is a major changes in there right let's say another example about and this is very specific for the e-commerce business right uh, if you have multi page check uh, multi page checkout process right and you are seeing that your uh, that your last funnel drop has been like around 80% or 90% right in that case might be your team might be thinking like might be because we have shown five different steps for them like firstly they have to go to the checkout page then they have to go into the information page in which they have to fill about the uh, address and everything else then they have the uh, shipping page and then they have the payment one right so might be the drop off is happening because of all these processes and people has to go that deep into the funnel you want to test like if your team has just one single page in which you have these four sections one after the other how will it perform right then also you can have a different checkout page url and you can test but between the multi page and what is single page checkout and know like which one is actually working off and if there is any drop off happening might be that is because of the multiple step or if that is because of other hidden reasons as well right so in that case as well you can use our split url testing in a very very wide manner and that can really impact your conversion if that is the problem uh, which the customer might be facing in on the website right now let me talk into the different aspect of split url testing and how it can affect you in the sales conversion right in some of the website we have also seen that uh, the major channel is just the one channel might be you are getting 50% of your traffic from the organic or might be you are getting the maximum traffic from the from the paid search and each users performs differently and behave differently when it comes to the conversion right uh, for example if people are coming to me directly on the website right and uh, they have they have proper knowledge about the website and might be they are converting better then the users who is just randomly searching for me and coming from the organic search and they might be landing on any any page in which they are not getting the specific information on right in that scenario our main motive is to educate the users that what are our offering on right on whatever page they are landing upon so it would be good to test that if you are getting a maximum traffic on one page uh, be it a product page or a listing page you want to create two type of uh, landing pages in there one would be just having all the products in place like in which you are just showing like as soon as the visitor land you are showing all the products from the different categories in there and in the new page what you can do is you can actually make that page as an information page and then from that point you can actually redirect it to the specific product pages right so this is very specific for one channel right and it might be diff it might behave differently for organic or the traffic who is coming from direct right that type of test also you can do by using the segment section which we have on our website uh, in which you can uh, check and run that campaign only for the specific channel be it a paid be it organic be it direct or if you want to combine these two three channels that is also possible by using our segmentation option in there right also i guess that your testing is really important uh, if you are going through any major speed changes or let's say like you experience the heavy page load you can make your uh, images optimized or instead of having videos or vice versa you can place your objects differently and see if that is the one factor which is helping the business grow right and doing this with like the split url testing is actually very important and very useful when you have major changes in place in which you want a, a faster results right and instead of depending on a longer period and you just want, don't want to wait for so long to make the a complete change in the website or the page right so there the there the split url testing plays an important role
right so yeah i guess these are the things and these are the changes which i would like to suggest if you are going through but uh, do let us know on email as well like if you have any follow up questions or if you have any particular use case in which you want us to uh, guide you in there that's all from my end abhishek so yeah yeah thank you mega thank you for the comprehensive explanation uh, for the query raised or uh, satya would you like to add uh, anything uh, to what uh, mega said or should we uh, open the forum for questions uh, yeah i think we covered all the points here so yeah i have anything to add uh, so i think we should move on to the crowd great so uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll hold on for a second or so for uh, for the attendees to pose a question or else we'll move on to another one and then we can take all the questions together uh here's hoping that you guys have some uh complex queries for us to help you with okay uh let's go ahead bega and uh, address the next query that we have and then we can uh, address all the questions in one go so i'll just quickly uh share transfer my screen share over to you Sure, Abhishek. So the next question we have in here is uh, that was like more of a query, I guess, is regarding like uh, I'm not able to create variant, and after clicking on editor, done button is not displayed. Right? Please guide me a little more about it. Right? So let me just share my screen for this, and uh, then we can actually talk about it. I believe you're able to see my screen now. Yes, my guys, visible. Perfect. So this is the screen you mostly get when you try to create any A/B test on your website in VW, right? And let me just open the VW website and let the editor loads on this page, so that we can see like how the visual editor of our website looks like. So yes, as I can see, like our visitor, our visual editor has been loaded, and it has showing me two different uh, options in here. One is for the control, in which I can't make any changes in, uh, and the other one would be the variation, in which I can actually make the changes which I would like to test upon. Right? Let's say I want to change this heading, uh, specifically to some other element. Right? Let's say I want to change scale your A/B testing to VW. ab testing with let me just change it to any testing or the split url testing yeah scale your split testing with bw right that has actually created one more variation and let's say i also want to change the copy of this test it would be a different uh, test altogether but let me just show you that how it works basically instead of So if you see that I have changed request product, I have increased the font size as well. I can actually use anything PX, ER, like whatever actually defines your website. And let's say if I want to change the button color as well, but I'm just keeping a slight change in here. And there's a done button. Uh, it might be possible that when you are experiencing that, uh, it might be something a network issue, and that's why it not work. We always suggest like if anything, anything like this happens, you can always reach out to our support as well to make sure that everything is working fine and they would be available twenty four into seven for you. Right. So might be that is just one case because. we have the done options in there and let's say if i just want to change this as well so basically i can change any element on this page right be it this image be it this cta be it this and if i have to add any new element that is also possible and if you want to create any new variation as well that is also possible and it will always show you that what all modification and how many modification you have uh, created in that variations altogether right and it's really easy to actually rename or clone clone is basically a creating a copy of that variation altogether right and to delete this right currently i'm just deleting it because i haven't make any changes in here and you simply after making that change you can see these changes by clicking on these two and then you can just easily process after that right so and you can easily preview this as well by using our preview section too but currently i believe the question was more about like 
the done button is something which is not working out, but it seems like it might be a one-time issue because we are seeing that it's working fine in here. Um, Mega, just uh, just a second. Uh, I, we have a part. Uh, we have a participant who has a question. They have raised their hand. I am just unmuting them. Uh, hi, Asmi. We. Uh, I've just unmuted you. Please ask your question. Hi, Asmi. Uh, we're waiting for your question. Uh, hello. Yes, hi, Asmi. Uh, yeah, am I audible now? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Uh, actually, I was testing for uh, makemytrip.com and I did not see this variant uh, like coming over there like she did. Like she is like editing everything. No? So I cannot find uh, that option like done option over there. So uh, might be, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Might be that is some a loading issue or might be that is a one time error, but I highly recommend that if you feel any issues like this, you can always reach out or use our chat option in there and our support team will be helping you out with the screen sharing or whatever requires to resolve that issue. Right? Okay. Because generally we have that on might be like when you're doing it might be that sound doesn't work upon, but you always have to click on element and edit your changes and click on this done or discard or edit HTML option. Uh, please can you tell me once once again like you have clicked on this screen and then you have got this option, right? Yeah, that's correct. So basically I've clicked on whatever element I want to change in and you see this the uh, whatever option I get in here that is edit element rearrange edit HTML if I have to remove this or delete it or whatever all options we have in here and out of this currently I have selected edit element right once you click on that edit element then you will be able to show this proper which says about the text or the font size or uh, all the options which you would like to change in okay and one more question I have like uh, uh, can we check the number of clicks uh, done by the user in one day like if we enter the uh, enter this in hypothesis. Mm -hmm. So can we check this? So you want to check like how many people are actually clicking on this CTA? Yes. Yeah, so that can... is easily possible. Yeah, so you can create your goals around here and you can easily measure the performance around it. Like for example, uh, if I'm just going back, so you can always go to our next section in here. Let me just do it. So if you see in here that we have the changes and when you go to the next section which we have, right, you can always use these tracking elements which can help you that whatever goals you need to track it. Like for example, if you want to track a goals in here, you can just enter the CSS selector for that CTA and you will be able to know that how many people are clicking on that CTA altogether. Okay, thank you. And uh, you, okay. uh, just to add to that, you can use the, the visual editor itself to create this uh, uh, goal. You can just visually yeah. select the goal and uh, make sure it gets done. Okay, okay. Thank you. Got it. Thank you, Asmi. Uh, thank you for the question. Uh, uh, do you have any other query that uh, you wish to address over here? Satya and Mega would be more than happy to sort of help you out. Anything related to goals or anything related to a particular kind of test that you are going to run? any use case that you uh, want to discuss with our experts i just want to discuss this use case only uh, now it's clear right now in case i have any question i'll get back to you thank you so much thank you Asmi. Yeah. okay uh Mika, uh we don't have any more questions uh would you uh would you like to continue uh with the query or uh would you like uh, is there any other question uh, I'm asking our attendees if they want to propose? Good. I think we'll uh, we'll summarize our event, uh, our session for today. Here we today we captured what kind of test best suits 
uh, a particular use case and the other is how to best use the visual editor uh, in our next session we'll also be discussing uh, various methods of experimentations and how best you can uh, deliver the best experience uh, anything to add mega and satya before we uh, finish okay we'll be wrapping up this session and see you next week thank you so much